Hi, how are you going? Hi everyone, welcome to Fix Your Technique series video one so in this video we're going to focus on a particular issue that a lot of junior cricketers have where they open their stance when the ball is on the leg side and as a result expose their stumps to the bowler so let's have a look what i mean by this so when some junior players face a quick pace bowler and the polar balls directly on the leg stump line or on their body or on their legs. A very common issue I see with young players is opening up their stance, opening their feet out of the line of the ball and then having a swing of the bat or defending or trying to hit. The issues with this is firstly you're exposing your stumps to the bowler. Secondly, you're not in a comfortable position to play on the leg side either a drive or a flick shot, you've opened up to the ball and thus very likely you'll come across with the bat and present the top edge to your bat and possibly even get uh, a, a top edge and the ball going up and getting caught. So let's look at some examples of, of this particular issue that some junior players are having and then how we go about fixing these issues. It's a very simple fix, you can try it at home, you can try it yourself. Please send me your videos if you're still struggling and I'll help you with it. As we pause the video here, we can see that the player has taken his front foot, his left leg outside the line of the leg stump. This in turn exposes his stumps to the bowler who then will have more chance to hit the stumps. This is a very common issue I see with young players where they are uncomfortable with the ball coming towards their body or at body line. Uh, players will tend to try and move away from the ball and in turn expose their stumps to the ball. Let's have a look at a few more examples. What do you think, Ashita, there? Huh? Yeah, but where did you go with your feet? You exposed the stumps to me. So there is a very simple drill that I use for my players who have this issue for of the leg opening up. So get the player to take their stance on the creek and put some cones or a restriction, even a stump can work here so that the foot does not move outside the leg stump. And then when a bowler bowls or if you're giving throwdowns to your player, then the player is forced to bring their feet straight ahead and not go outside because they are restricted by the cones or by the stump. If the player also steps on the cones, that will give them straight feedback that they've gone across, they've opened up. And so the player is then encouraged to go straight and then play straight on the leg side or straight and flick it down to the leg side. So I just want to put a couple of cones to restrict your feet movement forward as well as to the leg side. A small step but coming straight, not going to the side. Small step straight and then head down, then you can play your shot. This is to restrict your foot forward and this is to restrict your foot to the side. We'll try and keep our foot within this zone. That's it, within that leg stump line zone. If there's a ball that doesn't come onto your pad, you can leave it. Yes. Well done. So you're keeping your head right over the ball and the head's not going here, head's not going there. It's going right over your foot behind the ball. Right there. Head is just a little bit. Well done there. Okay, what do you think on that one? Cross pad. I think your front foot also came a little bit across. Rather than coming straight, it just went across. Well done. Played the Oshada. That's a nice shot on the leg side. What happened there? Cross pad plus foot went to the offside. Foot went across. Shot. Hopefully you found this drill useful. If you're still struggling and your feet still going across or if you're having issues with any other part of your cricket, send me a video. I'll have a look and I'll reply with some feedback to help you improve your cricket. Thank you.